what it mean to get drafted by the Houston Texans and be reunited with some of your teammates like John Mitchell Christian Harris? Yeah, um, you know, obviously I love Mitch, love Sierras, um, but, you know, for me, I, you know, where I, where I end up is something I can't control. And I'm going to give my all to whatever team it is that, that takes me. Um, I'm just super excited to be here. Um, you know, it's, it's my dream to play in the NFL and, and to be able to be here, whatever team I end up being taken by uh, is a blessing for me. Yeah, um, again, I, I've been this size, uh, you know, respectfully my, my whole life. Um, you know, I, I know who I am. Um, I, you know, I know what I can do. And, you know, for me, you know, I think it, it, it's fair. You know, everyone can, can speculate and ask whatever questions are necessary. But, you know, I'm going to continue to control what I can control. I'm um, keep working my hardest to put myself in a good position. And I'm confident in myself. I know what I can do. And, you know, I'm just excited to get to that next level. Hey, Bryce, at this point, would you be surprised to be drafted number one overall by the Bears if they were to keep that tick? Um, you know, again, I feel like, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, obviously, we don't get to choose. So, um, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what's – I'd be surprised either way. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Um, you know, I'm, uh, again, it, it's an honor for me um, to, to be able to be selected by whatever team it is that, that takes a chance on me. So, whoever it was at, at whatever position, um, I'm just happy to, to get that chance at the next level. What do you think about it, number one overall? Do you think about it? Uh, I mean, you know, I think, again, being able to be in these, these meetings, um, you're, you're able to sit at, at all these different chairs and, and think about, you know, playing it and all these teams because you get to hear a little bit about their system. So, again, throughout the, these meetings and, and throughout the process, um, you know, you, you look at other people's systems, get to talk to, to coaches and decision makers. And I think through all that, you obviously envision yourself, try to try to get a feel for, for the coaching staff. And that's what I try to do here. Right. Um, you know, I, I don't really look like, I don't really feel like, um, you know, my drive isn't necessarily to, to, to prove anything. I think for me it's to, to try to, you know, explain all, all the things that I see to all the, to all the coaches and GMs, all the decision makers, um, you know, to express uh, myself, um, you know, talk about how I see the game, um, you know, my experience in, in the past and be able to learn as well. So try to soak as much in in the process, um, you know, learn from the coaches, um, being able to talk to some players and play the league now. Um, so for me, it's a big learning experience, and I'm, I'm doing my best to, you know, to try to, you know, explain how I how I've gotten here, and and you know, try to find that great fit. Um, you know, I just I, I speak my truth. Um, you know, I, I I make sure I explain how I play the game. You know, how I see the game, my process. Um, you know, how I'm able to, to, to get through things. Um, you know, obviously there, there's stuff with film and, and on the board. And you know, it's just talking about uh, X's and O's. Um, you know, coaches. I feel like you know I've asked about you know how I've, how I've gotten um, you know to throughout plays and through reads and all that. And again, um, I've been around so many great football minds being in these meetings and you know being able to talk about you know what myself and then be able to pick their brains and see how you know they they run their offense, be able to learn from that. Um, you know, I think it's been a lot of back and forth, and I'm super grateful for it. Yeah, I feel like there's a good amount of application, um, you know, with from 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 play calls to, to protections to run game. Um, I think, you know, I, I've been blessed to be an assistant that I have that I think translates pretty well to the next level. I mean, you know, obviously there's going to be stuff I'm going to learn, and I'm super excited and eager to do that. But, you know, I think I have a, a really good foundation being from Alabama. Christian Harris told me a story about you being part of the scout team, DJ Dale. Also said the same thing that they said it was hard to go up against you and you on the scout team. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, out there it's 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 always competition and you know being able to go against the the first defense so much at, at Alabama, I feel like that that prepared me. Um, you know, at a young age, I was able to see so much from uh, playing against Coach Saban's defense and playing against a bunch of great guys, including Sierra's. Um, so I think it was really de uh, you know I think it was really beneficial for me again to be able to get reps, to be able to grow and, and learn and make mistakes, but uh, challenge myself. And I think that's one of the beauties of going to Alabama. Uh, yeah, 100%. You know, I've talked to a good amount of guys and try to prepare myself as much as I can for the next level and for this process. Um, you know, specifically, I, I was talking to Mac earlier this week, um, and he gave me a lot of great advice about, you know, kind of just how to how to how to how to carry yourself. Um, you know, things that he's learned in his years there. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of things that you know, I'm going to take and. and, and 
hold on to, and I'm, I'm super grateful for the, for the guidance I've gotten from him on top of, you know, many other NFL players. Um, that's a good question. Um, you know, for me, you know, I feel like uh, I'm someone who, who pushes myself and prides myself in, in my preparation and in processing and, and leading the team in offense. Um, and, you know, for me, I make sure that I, I do whatever I, I feel like is best for the team. I try to make efficient decisions. Um, and, and again, after every time, whether it's run or pass, I try to make sure that I'm doing and, uh, you know, playing the most efficiently for the benefit of the team. And, you know, um, misconception wise, uh, to be honest, I, I don't really know too much that that's out about. I'm grateful for everyone's opinions and, and for the media, for, for all the coverage and everything. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm not really like, on, on social media that much. I'm not really watching too much about me. Um, you know, I respect everyone's opinions, um, but, you know, I, I focus on what I can control. So I, I take the the, um, the advice and the direction of the people that I, I trust in my corner and people at the next level. And, you know, that's kind of what I what I try to focus on. Yeah, um, you know, for me, I, I've been able to, to take this time to, um, you know, focus on, on being ready for the next level, focus on being a, a professional. Like, you know, I've been around the 200-pound range, and for me, that, that's something that um, I think has been, you know, not too hard to do with being able to focus now on, on being, a, you know, being a professional football player. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah, um, you know, anytime you have to deal with adversity like that, it's tough. But, you know, I was blessed to be around the guys that I was. Um, my teammates first, uh, who, who pushed me and picked me up through all that. Um, we have an amazing training staff that, that also was there, uh, making sure I was getting better each and every day. And, you know, again, it, it's tough. I'm um, dealing with injuries. Um, I, you know, it, it's hard to find people who haven't. And, you know, you can ask countless guys who have been able to fight through that. So I think we all kind of share that. Um, but for me, um, just being able to play with my guys, be able to get uh, back with my brothers, I think that was something that pushed me a lot through you know that process. And again, I was around a great group that picked me up uh, while I was down. So um, you know, luckily I'm, I'm fully back, and you know I'm excited for for that next level. Uh, sorry, my bad. I I, I got like three. <laughs> Um, you know, for me, it was, again, just being able to, to, to train and, and um, you know, we had an amazing nutritionist, uh, same year, uh, I love and a great nutrition staff, but, um, you know, obviously being in college is a little bit more, um, you know, you have school, of course, there's other stuff that, um, you know, you have to focus on. And for me, being able to make sure, we just put more stock in and make sure that I'm eating the right things, um, you know, making sure that, that, that my body's right and, and just, you know, working out and being able to train and get ready for this. Um, you know, I'm I'm being biased, but of course, you know, I, I feel like Bama is, you know, as, as, if we're a recruit, that's the best place to play. Um, you know, that, that's 100% how I feel. I'm, I'm super grateful, um, you know, for, for making that decision. And, you know, I take a lot of pride in, um, you know, being an Alabama quarterback. And, you know, that was something I did when I, when I committed there and I got there, knowing the lineage that came um, and, you know, being able to, to uphold that and, and do my best to push that forward, um, you know, that, that really meant a lot for me. Yeah, um, you know, really, I think it's my faith. Um, you know, that's something that's been instilled in me, um, you know, from my parents at a very young age. Um, and, you know, that, that's something that guides all my actions, my decisions. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a man of God, and, and for me, uh, my faith, you know, fuels you know, how I work, how I carry myself. And, you know, I understand, you know, I, I do everything to, you know, to, to, to please the Lord. And, you know, that's kind of just how I approach all aspects of my life. Bryce, what would you say is the best part of your game? Um, you know, for me, I, I really pride myself in my leadership, and I, I know that that's something that I have to earn at the next level. Um, you know, I'm really excited to get into the locker room, whatever team, um, you know, does, does take me, um, and, and to try to earn that, that trust and that respect from the locker room. Um, again, it's not something I'm entitled to, but it's something that, you know, at the next level, I'm excited to, to put the work in and try to earn that trust from my teammates. Bryce, what? Yeah, you know, I, my, my meeting with the Texans was, was great. You know, I was I was super, super happy to be in that room. Um, again, it's amazing staff and, you know, to be able to talk ball with them, um, you know, them, them ask me some questions and, and me to learn more about them, them to learn more about me. Um, it was a great environment. And, you know, again, just being in that room, you know, I, I got a lot of wisdom, so I'm, I'm super grateful for it. Bryce, what's
Um, you know, uh, for me, I, I trusted the people around me, um, you know, that, that felt like it was the best decision for me. And, and like you said, going to Alabama was, um, you know, it was an honor. It was a blessing. Um, I take a lot of pride in it. And, you know, I, I grew so much while being there. Um, you know, personally, I, I felt like it was time for me to, to take the, the next step. Um, but I'll forever be in Dayton University. I'm, I'm super grateful for my time there where I learned. What was there you like with Bears? Um, uh, also, yeah, again, with, with the Bears as well, um, you know, it was a great room to be a part of. Um, you know, we were able to talk ball, um, you know, able to, to, to talk about you know, my last year. And, and again, it was, it was a great staff, uh, me and to learn about them, uh, us go back and forth. Um, you know, it was, it was an honor. So um, it was, I got a lot of, there's a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom in that room. And for me to be able to uh, pick their brains as well and to learn uh, so much that I didn't me was great. Bryce, what? One game to show off um, you know, I, I think one of the games that I'm proud of, uh, I'm proud of, and that we're all proud of is, is you know, the, the Auburn game, especially my, my junior. Year. Um, you know, we pride ourselves at the University of Alabama so much um, in, in that game. You know, in the Iron Bowl, that's something that's so big for us as a, you know, as a, as a university, as a state, and you know, for us to be resilient as a team in that last, you know, that that, that uh, game my, my sophomore year, excuse me, um, you know, going into, into the overtimes as did, and for us to show that fight in a game that means so much to us, um, that's something that I'm extremely proud of. And yeah, and, um, defense, yeah, um, you know, yeah, Georgia was definitely a tough defense. And playing in the SEC, you know, there, there's a lot of tough defenses. You, you see a lot. Um, but yeah, Georgia was, uh, you know, Georgia was, was definitely a, a special defense. Bryce, what's your... Um, you know, hardest part, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to pinpoint. Um, there's been a lot of struggles, you know, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of adversity. But, you know, for me, honestly, that's something I embrace and I enjoy. Um, you know, things being being tough, um, you know, me being, you know, being going from to you know, going to the south, you know, going to college away from away from home, being in new environments, um, being challenged each and every day by, by coaches and, and my teammates there. Um, you know, it, it's a lot that, that's of adversity, but again, that's what I embrace. I, I enjoy that. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, those challenges, that, that, that's what equals, equals out to growth. And, and for me, that's something I take pride in. So, um, you know, even the, the, the downs and the, and the struggles, um, you know, at the end of the day, even throughout it, I know that it's only going to make me better. Right. For sure. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.